Welcome back to Emily Victor. So, for finding someone else on the forums who had been stuck in the same position I was, again, uh, I have another hint as to where to go next. Um, or rather, as to what it was we missed, what I missed when I was uh, back in the you can uh, back in the winter wonderland. Uh, as it obviously is. Clearly what it is. It's not any kind of weird, strange, supernatural place. It's just, just... It's just this eccentric guy built his two mansions. One of them for winter and one of them... One of them not. And it doesn't matter that it's not actually winter in the real world. It's just... Maybe it's just fake snow. Um... Sorry, digression. But, uh, I guess I need to say something to fill the void, right? Big hole again. So, um, Whee! that's almost as far as uh, as the fall when you jump off the top of um, the top floors of Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. <laughs> no, I like that's. That's nothing with a Hilbert's High Rise Hotel is, uh... And this one doesn't even compare. <clears throat> Still experientially feels similar. Right. Library, library. It's the dining room it's upstairs that we need. In the other house. Gotta watch out for Mr. Pet Skull Man. I guess the nice thing about him is we can hear him before we see him. Alright, what's the easiest way for me to get? Yeah, going around this way is definitely the right way for me to approach the dining room. <gasps> hey, tea drop. Uh, apparently, I was supposed to look up. There's an X in the ceiling. Okay. <gasps> Expecting seat. <gasps> Wait a minute. I remember those X marks. They were all over La Sen's mission. Marking places he was stealing. Or were they markings that only I could see marking places I ought to go? I don't know. No, maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it's not. Okay, so this gets us to Faceland. Uh, I guess I'm going to need to expend a rep arrow for this. Tankredsky. Oh. Huh. See, I'm gonna be Maria's key. Was it her name was Maria? I think, right? Can I reach out? I can. Okay, don't have to waste it. I'm 
mean, I guess I could have dropped down there. Okay, so, well, that's something. It's only half of what I need. That's a difficulty. All right. What I can try to do here is a low rope. And drop onto it and hope it don't bounce off it. Ah! Yeah. Nothing here, guys. Fight me, you coward. I bounced off it, but it wasn't fatal, so, you know, let's just eat a fruit. Here, I was trying to eat a fruit, and I fell. Alright. Now, I remember seeing a spirally uh, effect like that in one other place, so maybe that's where I should be looking next. Like, not just lots of drifty up particles, actual spirally active. Hello. Hello there, uh... Or maybe you're leading me to where I need to go, actually. Or maybe you're not. Oh, this is just here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where I saw the other spirally effect. I guess I'll have to look around a bit and never forget there are ceilings. So the thing about that mask was found, could see the mask uh, before we knew where to look for it. All oh, right, this is this would be the where the stairway was, right? Was the statue? Yeah, something like that. Here we are. Here was the other spot, really, but uh, oh yes. It's indeed, there's something up there. Can we climb the tree? Oh, we can climb the tree. Okay, I did not, would not have expected that. Oh, it's a secret. Okay. Well, that's another vine arrow, so you know what I'm going to do? I accidentally frogged an invisibility potion through the wall. I'm going to shoot my ropes into a piece, convenient piece of wood and convert them all to vines, just in case we need the vines. Right. It's just, just because the engine stacks them together. Now we got a vine arrow, which is more capable than a, than a, uh, a rope arrow. So these are going to become vine arrows. They're just going to stack with the vines. Okay. Someone's hearing my arrows. Okay, so I need to look for those spirally uh, things. That's marking places. Somewhere. Somewhere. So I was so busy talking about binaries, I forgot to notice what I'd actually picked up. I mean, there was the invisibility potion, slow fall potion. Okay, so get rid of the scanning orbs, but I just don't like using scanning orbs because. Basically, have to be. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. Oh, nothing. I'm too tense. Uh, scanning them. So you basically have to be in a very safe position to use them. Uh, because obviously you're sitting there completely exposed while. Oh, uh, nothing here. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Scouting orbs. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make... Suggestion that I should head back downstairs and through the other areas again. Um, because possibly in the monastery area there are more of those, or maybe even down here, I don't know. I 
many moss? I've got seven moss. Expense more. So that's not a spirally run. I mean, maybe this is a red herring. Maybe it's just a coincidence. There's two places happen to be marked with spirally particles. And that one of them was useful to me. Oh, well, there's another spirally particle behind you. Hey, man. A wee drop of wino, please. Just a little drop to give me the heart to work. What? Oh. I'm supposed to give him a, something to drink. Okay. I was not expecting that. So maybe he'll let me through to that place. Okay, that's the plan. Where would I find the wine? In the kitchen, maybe? Let's go check out the kitchen. Left and right to every scoundrel with his hand outstretched? An outrage. He won't see my business a second time. Oh, the soldiers come in. What's that room immediately says right? I don't remember. So let's, let's remind myself. Alright, that's the uh, break room. Wine. What? Bottle of wine. Where would I find a bottle of wine? <coughs> Is that supposed to be Garrett admiring himself in the mirror? I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe that's... Uh, last end. Lizon's previous uh, our amour. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, because partly because there's more places over here, partly because there might be more places we can make use of. That's interesting that sometimes the particle effects are actually kind of... I don't know. The one up on the ledge there took me to a secret, but... Most of them just seem irrelevant, right? So this place has a library and stuff. Resembling wine, right? What? What? Uh, that's the library, right? Yeah. What? Um, makes me uncertain. It's just the exit room. There's no wine in here, right? He seems entirely unbothered. What makes me uncertain about the spiral thing is actually that second one. Like, the first spirally particle effect was absolutely, here's where it's somewhere important you need to go to progress the mission, right? It's like, this is, this is an important place. Second one was just like, well, here's some, here's some valuable, here's some loot, here's some, not loot, tools. It's equipment, it's good, it's useful, but it's not, it's nowhere near, this is where you need to go for the mission. Um, oh, there's two guys here, right? Yeah. 
Guess I'll check out there. Right, one of this guy goes round and round, and this other guy goes back and forth or something. Honestly, leaving you where you can be seen is probably not the best idea, but there's no kind of spirally there, so... <clears throat> Thankfully you didn't see me there. I guess being partly transparent, some of the light just goes straight through these guys' eyes. This, you know what? Well, why not just, just for the sake of having doors available for use in case of emergency? Maybe we better unlock, right? <sighs> I do kind of want to get in through there as well, just to see. Not again. Nothing. <clears throat> Just to see if he might have had anything relevant for me. Oh, this door's gone. Well, maybe I shouldn't have opened it then. <laughs> oh well. Huh, yeah, no sign of uh, anything here. Yeah, the other guy's just coming. I thought I heard his footsteps around the corner. So, there's nothing up here. For me. Where do I go to find wine for this guy? Maybe I do get back through the library? That doesn't make sense to me. This isn't the library. And he didn't have any wine. The library was this way. What does this say again? Yeah. Well, this is welcome to my home. That's like... <sighs> right, that was just showing me the exit door. But, uh, it's not helpful. Well, I love the concept of this mission, but the mission design itself is, well, I mean, it's a common failing, isn't it? A lot of missions have trouble with being able to find out what you need to know. These guys don't have a bottle of wine hiding here, do they? Uh, not this time. Just checking, there's a big particle effect, you know, it might have meant something. I can't get out there. I have a, there's a banner there that I need to destroy, but you know, I can't reach it, so... Maybe it gets to live.
have been everywhere here. Even if we were here and never found anything like a bottle of wine. Unless you had a bottle of wine? No, you got a candle. You also got an arrow, I can think. Funny, you were tra transparent, but your arrow was not. I hate to have to go looking for hints again, but I feel like I might. Hmm. Thought I heard something. Uh. Suddenly wandering the same corridors repeatedly is not really. Feeling very productive. You guys have some wine? I didn't really explore in here, did I? Probably just the wind. Dun, 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 dun. The recreation room. <coughs> uh, I see wine. I guess the other possibility is that there's upstairs. Where the mechanists and guys are. Might have something. Certainly not here. <sighs> so I can try upstairs again, I suppose. Seems about all that I can try, honestly. They don't have any. There's nobody here. Oh, well. Back to work. If they don't have any, then I think I'm gonna have to uh, look for another hint. So I have one mask. I could place it here, but there was a note in the readme saying that uh, wait till you have both masks. But otherwise, they uh, sometimes don't work for some reason. There was a bug that they couldn't figure out how to fix. I did look here, didn't I? Oh yeah, this is... It's not where I need to be. Hey, look, you see that? Over there. Hmm. Uh, what shadow passed my view? <coughs> hmm. Well, I saw some people looking about, 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 about where I can't me. see them. This may be bad. Sorry. Not how it was meant to go. And I might reload because there, there was a warning against not not disposing of too many people on as well. I don't suppose I need these guards, but Be on guard. I think there was something a while back. 
Just follow the deer off, you know? Now he's on me. Wow, okay, everybody is upset, right. Anyway, there is no wine bottle here, so this is a waste of time. Let's, re let's reload that, I think. Well, but that reminds me, these guys... These guys had a bottle of wine, but it was loot, wasn't it? Didn't they pick it up already? What was that? Did you hear something? Yeah, I picked it up and it was loot. <coughs> she gets suspicious again. Alright, I know I can hang around here safely, so... I am gonna go look for a hint because I have now been round and round everywhere and found nothing. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe that would make a nice screenshot? Okay, so I was on the right track of... well... I didn't realize I came all the way down this corridor. As I was saying before, it's rudely interrupted. I was on the right track. Uh, remembering this wine bottle, but I didn't make of it what I needed to make of it. I'm not sure how I was supposed to have. Unless I am mixing up instructions from two different, there are two different versions, and apparently this puzzle got changed. So the hint I said there's bell on the wall that would summon, like he's standing on a box, uh, that would summon a servant bringing more wine, but I don't see a bell on any of these walls. So maybe nothing there. Weird. Maybe that's not right. Maybe that's not this version. Maybe that was the original version. Quiet. There's nothing here. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. That's the problem. There needs to be something here. Just... Mm -hmm. Was something just there? No, there's no bell. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh, well. Alright, I'm <laughs> gonna go look again. Okay, so maybe this is the wrong room? Maybe it is the room with the mechanist? I was looking for wine, I wasn't looking on these walls for a bell. Is someone Didst thou there? see that shadow move? The wind plays tricks on me today. <clears throat> I could put the fire out, but there's so much light. Uh, um. <clears throat> He's over here! Spawned, villain! <sighs> Damn it, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are! The noxious the smell thing. remains, but the interloper has fled. Not that stinky. Rude. Ah! Whoops. I didn't realize it was right there. Oh. This might not go very well. Alright, well, while they're all riled up, I can scout this room. Ah! Put some kind of bell on the wall. No, definitely not, right? Definitely not. Alright. Where was my quick load? 
Ah, oh, close enough. Uh, right, back to the threads. Okay, so it turns out uh, that the other stuff next to it, the golden cups were loot, alright. Uh, but as you can see, well, as I just scroll past, I'll go back into it in a second, right? The golden cups were loot. Uh, but the bottle, despite normally being loot, was not. And that was not clear at all, because obviously I was picking up a bunch of stuff at once. And it just completely failed to register that it went into my inventory as a separate item. Uh, and, yeah. The whole bell thing, I don't know which room it was in the first version, but that was completely removed. Uh, in the second version. So, yeah, it's a mistake for that to be next to lootable objects because um, it just becomes, you just don't, can't then see unless you happen to notice immediately after picking up the bottle or if you happen to pick up or if you happen to pick up the bottle last neither of which was the case for me anyway problem solved if I had scrolled through all the bazillion items in my inventory, come on, Garrett, don't do that. Oh, the guard's not here yet. I'm gonna try taking the short over it. Anyway, I have it now, I can continue. Definitely that was not an improvement, I think, that fix, but... There you go, man. Did that work? Oh, there we go. Wow, he seems less drunk than he was a minute ago. Maybe in this wine... Maybe in this... Oh, well, okay, no. Sorry, I took it back. <laughs> he's still... He's still very drunk, okay. Ah, this wasn't even a fence blocking the entrances. He was he was blocking the entrance. All right, let's uh, first deal to banner. Second, thank you for the moss arrows, skeletons. Third, here's the spirally particles. We go this way. I don't think there's been any other puzzle I've had to go hunting for. Um, so many clues in a row, but never mind. The confusion of versions and what exactly had changed. Ah, we're here, okay. Theatre. Doesn't look like we can get in from outside. I mean, from up top. Ah. seen such insolence, such disrespect. And if he had, there would have been floggings, I can tell you. I think she's supposed to be sitting in the chair with the mask in front of her face, but um, Lady Cunagon's sweet key. Uh, that's not what it is. But uh, it is very sweet. Thank you. How come Maria doesn't get a uh, revenge key? Well, I guess maybe maybe the thing is it was like if Tancred had knew the secret, right? He he was going to tell Maria, uh, and I guess Lady Cunegon found out the secret as well. So what what these masks represent is the knowledge that people had. Okay. There goes our friend with his pet. No. Oh, he's lost his pet. He's lost his pet. Oh, the poor thing. Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, 
Quick guards coming. Let's uh, wait for them to pass by. I'm definitely going to have to look up what they... I mean, I think I know what they did for uh, Dewdrop, but I'm definitely going to have to look it up, because it's... Uh, it's very... It's, it's a very, very fun... What's over there? Fun touch to the mission. Uh, looks like nothing. Alright, we've got both masks now. We can We can use them. So Lady Gunnigan Suite was there. Jorid, that you? Hmm, must be one of them grubbers again. Hmm. No? Hmm. That's some matching masks. Do they go on the wrong ones? Oh, that's weird. They go on the opposite ones? Okay, I would not have expected that. I can't close these doors either, so we've got loud floors. Or maybe I can close the doors. Oh, good. One second. Make sure we don't close them or not. Oh, whoops. Um, <clears throat> I'm poor old Peter up here. Oh, the little doll. Got a giant face. We have... You can hear another frog beast. Oh, there's somebody there as well. Hello? Ah! I give up! Please, don't hurt me! Oh, these statues. I think a bunch of moss in strategic places would be good here. Go over there. Don't don't try and come in here. This actually, I'm gonna put one here as well for uh, oh, who could have done this? I don't like this, not one bit. It's not working. Hey, what's going on? <gasps> I'm Marta. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, they don't seem to be bothered by me, they just did not react to me. Okay, so that was a waste of moss. Oh, never mind. We're going to each of the statues that we made talk. Aha, uh -huh, there's a passageway here. This is a puzzle of some kind. The builder does not tolerate such mischief. Oh, this one's not solid at all. Might be an oversight. Oh, can we climb up here? We can, but to what end? Doesn't seem to be a reason to.
And this one's probably not solid again either, right? Yeah, but it doesn't no purpose to it. Are we supposed to like defeat this guy? I mean I can, but I mean I could try, I don't know if I can. Murder! A murderer! What? Guards! Help! Help over here! Is this a thief I see before me? Guards! What? I, I don't... I don't have any money! I mean, we can get him to go to any of the statues, but for what reason? What's going on here? Hey, this thing is a pile of junk! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, don't complain about... This. He's old, right? He's, I know he's a skeleton, but... Hey, what's going on? Where is he going? Well, I guess he's reacting, but in a delayed fashion. Is he following me now? He seems to be following me now, maybe? Okay, can you do something about this face, man? Can you... Can you hit the face for me? Ah, a hidden entrance. Well, I don't quite understand how that was supposed to work, but okay. That's Delaray, right? And those are some of his victims, and that's Maurice. Oh, that would be Emily and. Oh, what was the mother's name? I don't remember. It's written in the ghost room. Cast a wiggling spell on Delaray. And all that's left. Guess I should sit down on the chair. Good day, Mr. Garrett. You were able to get here without too many bumps? I was right to call on your services. I would have preferred to be somewhere else. I am really sorry, but I had no other choice. And you did accept the contract. Ah yes, I have a present for you, a big present, it will help you to find Delaray's property title deeds. Goodbye, Mr. Garrett, and thank you. you giving me a barracks head? Thank you, Mr. Garrett, for your help. Now I can cry over my father and go and find my mother with a light heart. I also ask that you keep silent about this adventure. I'm not anxious to have ten more Delarays in my backyard. One was more than enough trouble. Yet something tells me that a being like myself cannot be left in peace. That a fabricator of worlds, as the people call me, cannot content oneself with only dancing with monster frogs. I also see that you have borne witness to a scene which has tormented my existence. The banishment of Lucy Victor, my mother. 
I would have preferred that you didn't see the spectacle, but as I've already told you, there are things over which I do not yet have control in this world. I have yet to come to the full realization of my power. This world is the deformed reflection of my spirit, of what I have experienced, and sometimes the mirror is a traitor. This gift of mine is nothing more than a curse which has enclosed me within the walls of a painful past, and which manifests itself whenever I see my memories take material form in the universe that I have constructed with a thought's breath. Due to you, once ruined, Delaray will not be any more a danger for me or for the other persons. Now go and fetch the property title deeds and destroy them. Then go to the warehouses and find your happiness there. But then that may become part of another story, another mission. Goodbye, Mr. Garrett. Emily Victor. Okay, so now I know what to do with this barrack trophy. Go... Wait. It's upstairs in there? It is upstairs in here. Okay, we need to wait for this guy to come back out again now. Oh, he was reunited with his pet. I mean, yes, he's a horrible, evil, horrible, undead guy, and, well, only undead in this unit. Horrible, evil, horrible guy. Uh, but he does have a very cute pet. You know, I, I do like his pet. Uh, so, we saw the barrack trophy on the plate in this world, so I think I need to, we need to take the exit. And go back to... The real world version of it. Never mind the alarm. Okay. Maybe, hang on, hang on. Business is Oh no, that's right, that's the one we couldn't cut down. Right, so this is going to open a passage, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, a safe. Property title deeds, okay. Destroy them. Wasn't sure that was working for a minute. I can't close this again. Uh, steal the key that Delaray is carrying on his belt. Okay, how the hell do I do that? Uh, it feels like we've reached a ending point. And yet... There's stuff still to be done. Well, I guess... Thanks to all the uh, supporters to look up hints, I had no idea how, how long it had been for this one episode, so... However, uh... oh, it's not yet an hour. So I do have time to go poke around in the monastery again, I guess. Let's see if I can steal that key. Maybe I can. I mean, I can always try and knock out these two guards, right? I've got lots of equipment. I've got noisemakers. I could distract them. I've got flash bombs as well. I could just flash them and knock them out. It's probably the best. Wait, I think I saw something. What? Hey, I got someone. Oh. Probably simplest. <laughs> Oh, except you can't open the door. What? And how do I steal this key? It wasn't in range from the window, right? I couldn't pickpocket it. What was he supposed to be? Is the idea that he's supposed to be actually by this window close enough for me to pickpocket that? It's nowhere near the window. Is there a way in from above? No, you can see wooden beams above, and it'd be possible to rope down, but how do you get up there? 
Okay, let's look around up in here and then we'll go back and look around up in the main room. Maybe I'll just... I mean, there is a, there is a hollow there, but it's not a passage, it's just a hollow. I don't want to go look up yet more things, hints about what to do. Doesn't look like there's any way up in there. So, what the hell? Oh, did I not go in? No, I did come in here. the upper levels in here. Hang on. What's that up there? Looks like a passageway. <coughs> Where hast thou gone? evil banners in the way. So there's definitely a passageway up there. Okay. How do we get up there? I could bring a stack of crates and get up and climb up here. I think... Well, given we've cleared the way, I think that's probably the simplest... simplest approach for now. I'm going back to and from the White House with these guys out front of it. I might try to knock these guys out too. Can I do that? I don't really have any more tools for it, right? Well, you know what? I haven't used my invisibility version. Why not? <sighs> it's always confusing to me when I go invisible that my blackjack goes invisible too so I'm not actually aware of when I pulled it out. Okay. It's gonna make fetching the crates very easy. It's probably not the right way to do this but it should work so bear with me. And I know some of you ask, well, might ask well why don't you just cut and you know, cut the recording and then, uh... Um... Wait a minute. These doors aren't wood, are they? No. You say these doors might accept a repair. I mean, I might just be able to get by one crate. What was I saying? Might just, why don't you just cut the recording, like other people might do, and just cut to where you've already done the thing. And the answer is... Well... First answer is, huh, it didn't take as long as you thought it would. Fooled you. Um, second answer is, I'm playing these missions the way I encountered them, and the recording is showing the way I encountered them too. So, you know. Oh, so this is reachable from somewhere else. So, I think... So barely visible passage ran through the rock there, so this would have been the way in, I guess. So I followed this and I found out, and I should find out how I was supposed to get in here. What room is this? It's entirely new to me. Am I being tortured on the right? Okay, so this is how I was supposed to get in. Right, I just did not find this at all. Run, for pity's sake, run quickly, he is here! Try to find Mr. Ponk if you need help. Oh shit. Ah. 
laying traps for me still. Shut up. Over here, God. Great. Where the hell is this? Skeleton guy is real? We're not in the alternate world, are we? I mean, at least he's distracting the reach from me. I mean, I'm happy about that. Kill him, kill him. I think the reach is not killable, but. Skeleton guy's not killable either. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take this as a moment to end this episode, I think. I think. So there was a massive fight between Maurice and the actual armored undead skeleton. So I was supposed to, I guess I was supposed to have found this place long before. I don't know, this is an enormous part of the map that just did not know existed. Where is Mr. Pong? Who is Mr. Pong? Oh, Maurice is dead. Skeleton, undead skeleton lives. Okay. I think that's good news for me. You can, Tapper. You're ours now. I think that's good news for me. Guards, over here. So Undead Skeleton will go back to his patrols. What is this? What is this torture complex that Maurice runs that killed him? I don't know, but I'm not I'm gonna be I'm not gonna cry over his death. I'm not moving because if I move out into the hallway I might get seen because this goes clearly on high alert. I'm just waiting for them to calm down. I mean they're not likely to come over here. I guess I could move while they're on the other side of the pillar. But... You know what would be really great if they decided to uh, pass fine down into the hole by mistake. <laughs> I'll be out of my way. Okay, no, they are going to come this way. That's bad news for me. They're gonna be chasing me in a minute. No. Okay. And they make the frog noises still. So they... I should have read that. Oh no, that was the note. Where is Mr. Bonk? I was say I should have read it while I was there, but... Mm, do I want to explore this passage? I mean, maybe he's allied with me? Gently, gently, that's what the boss tells me. I don't know that word, not me. He says, go take out Trunk Red and his wife. And above all, with discretion, Maurice. By the Builder, with discretion. For me, that means only one thing. Go and liquidate Trunk Red and his middle class whore, and I only know one way to do that. Like they told me in the army, I charge and they give way or they get smashed. There's one prisoner who is billowing a lot tonight, and if he keeps it up, I will go down into the pit with my sledgehammer. He won't be squalling much when I have made him swallow his tonsils. He arrived from the police station yesterday, and he looks like one tough customer. They found him one morning in one of their cells, and to think he got there all by himself. Larson, 
No, Lila Sen. That's the name of that totally an opera, opera singer. The boss, he says to me, You see, Maurice, before you used to be just like him, an animal. And since that day that you came into my service, you have become a man. I really like the boss when he talks to me like that. What's bothering me is that I'm having trouble sleeping lately. I have this recurring nightmare where we're in a little girl and a strange rickety skeleton are chasing me underground, croaking like frogs. But bad news, Maurice. Right, so this... This is where I need to get back up. Let's just take a right power to remind me. So this was the dead end, right? Okay. That's gonna be my way forward, I think. get you out of here, I don't think. But I can leave a present for you. You might recognize this guy. You might you might like to see him this way. Hmm. Better you than me. Come on out and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. That's not a good place. I'm looking for one one of the ones. Something strange is going on. Let's put the rope in. Extra careful. In here. I know you're out there. <clears throat> I'm gonna make you bleed! Who are you? Go away! You've made enemies, Tapper. Count your hours. Okay. There does not seem to be any reason for me to go down there. I'll leave you guys the rope so you can get back out. So you can climb out and save yourselves. Just don't attack me when you when you do. Oh, and I guess just around here again. So how how do I even get in here? This doesn't answer my question of how I find my way in. Mr. Skeleton's got riled up. Oh no! Mr. Garrett, now what have you gotten yourself into? How could you forget that this is Maurice's home turf, that of Delaray's right-hand man? Now hurry up and get out of these cursed premises. I'm sending Mr. Punk without delay to give you a helping hand. I think that it will be necessary if you meet Maurice. Emily Victor. Ah, it's the skeleton, Mr. Punk. Okay, there's a... Right, that's... this must be the way I was supposed to come in. There's some doors here. What have I gotten myself into and how do I get out of it? I don't know where this is. Okay, well, I've missed a bunch of this mission. Somehow. And, uh... I guess... I'll just have to accept that. Except not knowing how I'm supposed to find my way in here. Ah, uh, I mean that's is that the same passage? I don't know. I might go back afterwards and look at look at uh, Maurice's chambers and see if I can find Maurice's area. See if I can find any hint of how I was meant to have done this. But well, I did it my way. Odd. 
Touchest thou my head, my good lord, will bring, bring thee luck. Okay. Did indeed bring luck. In the form of equipment. Strange. I saw something there for a moment. Who made that noise? I'll have to make it nice and dark down there, shall we? That should give us the ability to, uh... Get down and take that key. Yep. Like so. Warehouse key, right. <coughs> and of course, the banners. <coughs> love your, you love your uh, throat clearing practicing meeting, you know. Meeting of the Throat Clearing Club will now <coughs> adjourn. All right. Uh, I was going to say my problem is now I don't have a way out, but no, I can go out the way I came in. Just drop down back into the uh, chapel. These banners, I don't think I can reach them. Gonna try it, right? I've got, I've got an ability to reach higher. <laughs> Maybe I can reach it. Yeah. Okay. Bear with me. Why? Fulfill the duty of a garret. Very important. You never know if there could be hiding secrets behind them. You know, that's any banner can hide secrets behind it, right? You might say these ones are just floating in midair, but. The joke will be on you. You'd love to see your silly face when the secret turns up when I cut this one. I guess I could reach these ones from the altar. Alright, on the, on the box. Thank you. There we go. Alright. And a gift for the builder. Okay, since I'm in the area. Let's just have a go, have a quick peek at Marisa's room. Or indeed around here, I suppose. No, it's definitely not here. Um. And see if maybe... Oh. Oh, this one, this one, this one's easy. Hit the banner, not the wood. Okay, let's fix that. Well, in the dream world, maybe not. But this one I can reach. This is Marisa's place out here. Spare hammers. What happened to the head? Oh, the head was in the other version of it. It's altered to death. His rats that I can't release. Nope. I mean, the only objective I've got is to get out through the front gate, so... There's an altar to death here, and also to Cthulhu, so maybe there's a secret passage in here. 
doesn't look like it. I could be hiding a secret passage, I suppose. Big enough. But I see nothing to indicate it. I really don't know. Have a quick look in the warehouse. Of course, that's also where we saw Maurice, but... No, here's the wine cellar, right? I was thinking of looking for the wine cellar and when I was looking for that bottle of wine, but no. Alright, well, never mind. I will just, for my own curiosity, go look that up off screen later, but for now, let's just go back to the front yard and get out of here. <laughs> Went a long way around, of course. Oh well. Oh, my pet! Come with me. We shall escape together. Right, missed a couple of secrets and I found all the loot. That's, that's extremely a surprise. Okay, wonder what the other two secrets were. Two more things with equipment, I guess. Well, that was Emily Victor. That was uh... well, apart from a, apart from a few two obscure um, things to find that were on the <laughs> critical path. Ah, uh, that was a really good mission. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go and look up where I was supposed to go to actually find uh, my way into Maurice's place there, because I didn't even know there was a torture a massive torture dungeon that's the same size as the manor itself. Like, it's not even in my uh, on my radar. But anyway. Mr. Ponk, thank you very much. You you dealt with Maurice quite handily. Um, so I guess Mr. Ponk would have followed me around. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe he would only have just appeared there after Maurice started chasing me. I don't know. Mysteries. Mysteries. Well, I'll see you here for the next mission. Well, it's not far, apparently. I looked up a walkthrough, and I need to be in the library. The library's pretty easy to get to. So let's just take a look at what it was I missed, since there's plenty of time. Camera is in exactly where I need it to be. Aha. Uh -huh. Another thing, another little hidden secret that I just completely didn't see. You know, I could stand here and see there's nothing there. <laughs> of course, it's recessed, so you don't see it unless you come right around. What does that do? Is someone there? Yes, ah, opens a secret door here, okay. Hmm, I guess it was nothing. That's why the other door came out when I was in Emily's world comes out here, because this is the secret door, so I'm supposed to have maybe even supposed to have found this before? Huh. 
Falls getting into Emily's world. Okay. And I expect this just takes us to... Oh, okay. It takes us to a crypt. There's not going to be any loot here. Right, and that's the doors I was on the wrong side of. So there's a, another switch in here. Secret behind a secret, as I say. I mean, there's obviously there's something behind there, but... Uh, how to open it? I guess I'll take a look. There's a big bloody lever on the wall. It's not a secret at all. It's just not very visible. Okay. <laughs> and that lets us into the torture dungeon where we say, Oh, no, no. I'm sending Mr. Punk to give you a hand. Okay. And we can go say hello to Mr. Punk, I guess. Mr. Punk. You've made enemies, Taffer. Count your hours. You are on my side, aren't you? You don't look like it. Yes, you are. Well, thank you, Mr. Punk. You were a great help.